I am. How are you? Small engine velocity. This is Caesar with Small Engine Velocity coming at you with a motor vlog on a day that it rained that I rode the ruckus. So I rode the ruckus today. Uh, I spent last night changing the jet to a 78, cleaning the carb, redoing the intake, like making sure everything looked great, and uh, no more sputter. But I'm still not like jumping past. 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and I've hit 47, but uh, nothing really spectacular, so I don't know what happened and what changed. Maybe it's the weather. Uh, it has been a lot less humid and a lot cooler, like it's 83 right now. Uh, does anyone out there know that temperature really affects your carb that much in humidity? I don't know. Some people say it's my exhaust because I haven't really got super fast since I put this exhaust on either. But I don't know because it was sputtering and it wasn't doing that before and it was running pretty good before that. So anyways, that's an update on this. Uh, there's also a box in my driveway that I needed to open. It has a bike in it. That'll be this weekend I hope. But really what I wanted to talk about today is this is kind of a PSA, public service announcement, PSA, the more you know. Um, I got accused by a person saying that I stole his idea for his ruckus with my handlebars. It was his idea. And I was like, I didn't mean to steal your idea. And then I started thinking, I was like, but I got my idea from somebody else. Okay, rucks have been around since 2003. So really, there's not that much that's new. So everybody's copying somebody from somewhere that they saw, from a picture that they saw on Google, or on a forum, or on a group. Like, really the closest thing that I have to original on my bike is my, uh, my, uh, kickstand. And that was only created in that way because of a need to not spend money. does a stretch everyone's got a fat tire everyone's got a douglas or a two-piece or a three-piece everybody's got uh lowered handlebars or modular handlebars or led headlights or projection bulbs or a light bar uh, everyone's got you know some people have different things <coughs> only because uh they know how to weld or create or fabricate for example Riney, he's shoving different motors in it uh, Danny Boy put a Elite 250 vertical motor inside of there. I mean, that's pretty rad, you know? I don't want to say it hasn't been done before because I don't know, but I don't know anyone who has it, so in my mind, and it been, hasn't been done before. So please, if you're going to tell somebody that they're ripping off the idea, like, I'm not trying to sound like a, a, a D-bag or anything, but it's all been done before you know and that's part of the reason why I want to make parts I want to make something that's different that hasn't been done before or something that looks different than what's already out there because it doesn't seem like very many people are developing parts for the ruckus right now everyone's cool with the status quo there's so much variety out there right now that uh, doesn't really uh, doesn't really hurt anybody or it doesn't even help anybody and they won't make enough sales to make it but yeah don't be fooled everything has been done before you know what i would like to see well no i don't want to talk about it because what if i make it or if someone gets the idea and makes it before me there are a lot of things okay here's a here's a question what would you like to see for the honda ruckus like what part do they not make or did they used to make that you wish they still made or you wish was made. The wind's blowing with me today. I'm very excited about that. It's not very often I uh, get
get the wind blowing with me. I mean, I got a one in four chance, right? <laughs> Like, I like my kickstand. I like where it is. It's strong. It's high up on the body. It's not short. There's not a lot of stress on it. The kids were playing on my bike like it was a jungle gym. You know? So... Ooh, rear brake. Tighten that up a little bit. There we go. Uh, I'd like to see uh, different kind of wheels or... I mean, the paint job thing, everybody's got different paint. I'd like to see some different battery box shapes. Maybe an aftermarket battery box that's a little bit different or narrower or more or shaped differently. You know, that'd be kind of cool. Um, some kind of peg that right here where when you put your foot on the peg, there's like a little lip that you can put your foot on on something. So when you're driving pretty fast. Uh, you can kind of hold yourself in from when you hit a bump. You don't get flicked off the bike, you know? Because, I mean, as it stands right now, it's not like a motorcycle where you can squeeze your legs around your bike and hold it in one place. There's got to be something. I mean, I'm not talking about a foot clip. We're not talking about bicycles here. I'm talking about uh, just a little notch to put your foot on so that you can kind of push your feet on to, to hold yourself in. That'd be nice. Especially those GY6 guys with the 232s and whatnot. Where they got superpower like Lee. Lee's got a 180 Taita. That's a pretty powerful motor. Manholes. My nemesis. I hate you manholes. Okay. I thought I heard my helmet slapping the strap. Not as bad as I thought going home with all the witness. I thought it was going to be soaking wet outside, but it's not. Although I did get a whole bunch of water all over my back. So that's really what I wanted to talk about in this video. And then in the beginning about the new jet. Uh, so all I need left for the GY6 swap, for those of you that are following, I need the rear hub. Uh, I got a lead on one, but I don't know. We'll see how that fall. See how that goes through. Hopefully, it doesn't fall through. Uh, the tire should be on its way soon uh, with the fuel pump. I already got the uh, motor mount. For the motor mount, it's red though. But I am going to put it on and make sure everything fits and is adjusted right. Uh, and then I'll get it running and ride it a few times, and then I'll take it off and send it off to the, either the powder coater or spray paint it. Or at least that's what I want to do. But my impatience may make me just spray paint it. Who knows? Who knows? I'm also scared of my front disc brake in the wet ground. About like totally making the front end slip off. I don't want that. I've done that before. I fell and broke my shoulder. By the way, it's the anniversary of me breaking my shoulder recently. I did it after my birthday. But yeah, it's all been done before. 78 jet. Give me some ideas for parts. Or at least let's put some ideas out there for the public to know what, what's out there that we want. Alright, there is a, still a strong following for ruckuses in Florida and all these other places and by golly we want our parts. But anyways, I really appreciate you guys. I really don't re rant videos like this very often but I felt like this one was near and dear to me after that guy accused me twice. Uh, at first he was bugging me about mailing him a free battery box to another country of all places and then I banned him and then somehow he got back on the channel and then he was telling me how oh I did all this handlebar changes and I never made a video about it it's funny how you didn't make a video about something that was my idea I'm like oh, really people know how to put handlebars on people know how to put a throttle and a and then and levers on and I did go over some key points on it whenever I did it so eh. anyways now I'm getting angry so uh do me a favor like and subscribe tell me if you see anything you want 
and I will see everybody in the next video. I am. How are you? What's your, what's your, uh, Small engine velocity.